Did you know you were almost traded for Kobe Bryant? No. <laughs> and I, I don't know. You know, there's so much stuff that's out there nowadays, Dan. I don't know if that's entirely true or not. Um, and the reason I say that, I was a I was a pending free agent. And you would think if if they were really seriously going to trade for me, they would want to know if I would resign with them and this being the LA Lakers. And so I never heard that. I don't remember that. Um, it could have been the case, but I, 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 it, it sounds a little, it sounds that maybe Phil Jackson might've been interested in the idea, but nothing ever, you know, nothing ever came of it further than, than him, you know, sort of maybe pushing for it you on were, the Lakers side. Kobe was only 22 at the time. You were 26, but Phil um, I guess he had to he had to have second thoughts on this, but he wasn't sure if he wanted to keep Kobe, and uh, he benched him. And uh, that I guess that he uh, he thought about trading for you. That that's what I right. have. That's the information. Yeah, no, and I've heard that. I've heard that. Oh, okay. but I, I don't remember. I don't remember that being something um, back in the day, and you know, my Detroit years, ever hearing that news. Do you remember the first time you played against Kobe? Um, yes, I do. I had a great game too. <laughs> um, he, he was um, he was coming off the bench. It was his rookie year. Dale Harris was coaching. They were playing in the forum, and uh, we played them. And I had like like 34, 15, and fourteen. We went to overtime. You know, he 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 was. You could see the talent. Uh, and you could see the, the 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 upside, but you know he was still coming off the bench. He wasn't the player that he ultimately became. The big jump, the big leap for Kobe was from his first year to his second year. His second year, think about it. He was coming off the bench and was voted as an All Star starter <laughs> in that game in New York, uh, where he was matched up with Jordan. Um, I met him for the first time though when he was in high school, and uh, we played uh, the Sixers in the old Spectrum. And he came by our shoot around with his father during his senior year. And Doug Collins was our coach and Doug played with his dad in Philly back in the early eighties. And so I met him then and I knew about him because Duke was recruiting him. So I'm here, I'm trying to push in, you know, you know, push Duke on him and like, Hey, you should think about Duke and this, that, and the other. And he's thinking about the NBA. So, um, but nah, he was uh, a great, great talent and sorely missed. 